Salams and welcome. We are now at brain lesson number 35. I'm going to go a bit slow with this. This is a very important concept and I've mentioned this many times before. It's called GIGO. In the old days, or even now as well, uh, in computer t terminology, I remember when I was in the 60s and 70s, I was very young, and when we were reading books on computer science, we often came across this concept called G-I-G-O, because in those days they were saying computers have become so advanced they're going to take over the world. And many of these computer programmers said, no, you know what, a computer is just a robot. The computer will only do what you tell it to do. If you put garbage in, you put get, get garbage. So they used to use a word called gigo. Garbage in, garbage out. That means if you put garbage into the computer, garbage is going to come out. But if you put good things into the computer, then good things are going to come out. Now, I use this metaphor for a computer for us as the human brain. Remember, and must always tell your children, and for us as well, and for your grandchildren, your brain is a gift from the Supreme Creator who created you, created me, created the heavens and created the earth. It is a sacred gift. Look after it. Don't put garbage into your brain. Many times the media is full of garbage. Many times our friends tell us garbage. People who don't want us to succeed, they tell us garbage. And then we put our brain in a cage. So what it means is that if you put garbage inside your brain, you get garbage out. If you put good things into your brain, you get good things out. Now, what, are, what is garbage? Examples of garbage is toxic people, vulgarity. We have swear words. If you watch a lot of television with swear words, if you put a lot of swearing words into your brain, you, you, when you open your mouth, swear words are going to come out because now you are programming your brain with swearing. So how can we program our brain with swearing? Okay. So you put swearing into your brain, Swearing comes out. So what I've done, when I'm going to watch a movie, I give, my, I give it the movie three chances. The minute I come to three swear words, I change the channel. Sometimes within the first minute, I have to change it. Because as you're watching the movie, you hear a word with an F, then a word with a word with a B, I just change the channel. I don't want those people to put rubbish into my brain. This brain belongs to me. Who are they to put rubbish into my brain? So please tell your children, they mustn't just watch like this. You know, they call it a babysitter. A TV is the worst babysitter, but it can be a very good babysitter. Use it as education. But please don't put garbage into, don't put swearing words into your brain. Please, others, that's going to come out. Put good things, right? So the garbage is toxic people, vulgarity, negative thoughts, fear, doom and gloom, rumors, false information, media. We put toxic nonsense into our brain and then we get fear, fear. You know what does it mean of fear? F-E-A-R. It means false evidence appearing real. It's all nonsense. They make us afraid. You know, they make it seem like, oh, something bad is going to happen, then we get scared. So fear just means false evidence appearing real. It's all nonsense. Okay. So, but good things are optimism, hope. It must always be hope. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, never give up hope in the soothing mercy of Allah, your creator. Have positive thinking. Have courage. No matter what you're going through, your brain must be very strong. We all go through difficulties in life. We're all going to suffer. We're all going to have difficult days. But it must always be positive. Sometimes, yes, we're going to be down. Sometimes the world is going to look dark. Sometimes the tunnel is going to be long. But we must, we, we, either we can get positivity in our brain or you need a good friend to phone you and give you that positivity. You need a family friend to phone you and give you that positivity. But why don't you be that good friend? Be that good person. Encourage another person. Give that person hope. Give that person support. You, because you, instead of waiting for us, for, even if you're going through difficulty, phone someone else and give that person, because someone else may be going through more difficulty than you. So on this, what are your thoughts? You know, what difficulties have you gone through? You know, I, so please sh let me know. I've got this little thing to remind me. Like in my case, I've got a spinal disability, uh, home invasion, I was shot, you know, three gunshots. So I need your encouragement. You know, so please subscribe to this channel, share, like, comment, make your comments. I love to read comments. So give me whatever comments you can make. Here, here's the comment section. But the main thing is subscribe, share. We need to share knowledge. Share this knowledge with your children, your grandchildren. I'm going to do a whole series just on the brain. I'm going to show you study techniques, teaching techniques, um, how to choose a career, how to start a business. How to be successful in your business. I focus on the NPAT, the net profit after tax, and how to use the balance scorecard in running a business. You know, the financial parameters, the uh, customer parameters, the, uh, the uh, training, and so forth. So I'm going to talk about all of those things and how important PR and marketing is. You know, I used to be the marketing and strategic director of a private hospital. 
So I'm going to share all of that knowledge with you. I've, I've interviewed thousands of doctors, nurses, and various staff. I'm going to share with you knowledge how to write a good CV, what questions they're going to ask you in the interview. So please share the, all of this uh, brain lessons that I'm giving. Share it with the whole of South Africa. Share it, with, share it with the whole of Africa. Share it with the whole of the world. Wherever you are, these bra uh, human brain, if you are a human being, then please subscribe and share this information. So please, this is brain lesson number 35. I'm going to keep referring to it. I'm just going to keep on saying, Gigo, garbage in, garbage out, stay well, put good things into your brain. Remember, the brain belongs to you. The brain is a botanical garden. Rubbish things, garbage refers to weeds in the brain. Keep on throwing the weeds out and put roses. The roses are the good things. The weeds are the toxic things, the false information. So if you want a beautiful botanical garden, you've got to throw the weeds out, throw the rubbish out of your brain. Do a spring cleaning of the attic, clean everything out. Say, you know what, is that information, keep on asking yourself the question, is the information correct? And ask the, ask the experts in that field, that is the information correct? Because with the internet, there's good things, but there's so much rubbish we're filling our brain with. Okay, stay well, look after yourself.